Hey everyone, this is your AP Physics 1 exam number 3 tutorial. First, I'm going to go over problem 1, 2, and 3 because they are based on two diagrams. So let's pass construct the diagram. Write diagram 1 here. So this is diagram 1, this is VT, and this is diagram 2, and this is also VT. Diagram 1, velocity, you're going to keep it uh, constant. So the velocity is from 1 meter per second to negative 1 meter per second. So the object is moving 1 second with 1 meter per second. And then object turn around, right, change the direction and moves with negative uh, 1 meter per second for additional 1 second. So this is 2. If you want to visualize dt graph, or even if you visualize one dimensional, we did in the class, the object is moving from location A to B with one meter per second, and immediately when it comes to location B, immediately change the direction and come back to A. Dt graph uh, should be straightforward. Uh, this is one uh, between, t is between zero to one, and this is negative one, uh, t is between what? Uh, 1 to 2 and um, the dt graph should be um, t 0 to 1 0 to 1 and t minus 2 from um, uh, from 1 to 2 and how would that look like this is dt that look like a diagonal line the positive diagonal line stuff so of this one is a positive straight line this is a negative diagonal line the slope of this one is a negative straight line that's what i mean this equation is this this equation is this great so the total displacement is zero now the second one is a little bit interesting because the velocity uh, this is one let's say this is two at two second object completed uh well at two second object the speed is one meter per second and it increases because it's quadratic. So velocity quadratic is uh, interesting. Uh, one example of velocity uh, is quadratic is rocket, rocket science, rocket, rocket launching. <coughs> Fast two to three minutes. Okay, so fast 200 seconds. Uh, the rocket when rocket launches uh, the velocity has to be quadratic so there is some kind of jerk uh, so uh, speaking of jerk you want to take a look at your dt graph so understand few things if velocity is constant then x is ct if velocity is linear then x is k over 2 t squared. If velocity is a quadratic, k over 3 t cube. Okay, in this, uh, here, here, this one is a case. This one is a case because the velocity is quadratic. Uh, so the velocity is quadratic. How do we know velocity is quadratic? Let's find whether velocity is quadratic. Look like velocity is quadratic. I have two point, zero comma zero which is hk of 2 comma 1. So y is equal to x minus h square plus k. So y is equal to, don't forget a. So y is 1, 1 is equal to x is 2 minus 0 square plus uh, 0. So a is 1 over 4. If a is 1 over 4, then how can we write the equation? Y is uh, 1 over 4 uh, t squared. Okay, so we know the equation for this one. V of t is equal to 1 over 4 t squared. This one is 1 over 4 t squared. Then x, uh, the dt would be what? Uh, we see that x is k over 3 t cubed. Okay, so then what is our k? Our k is 1 over 4. So then x is uh, 1 over 4, right? k is 1 over 4, so 1 over 12. 1 over 12 t cube. Let's see our v, uh, we already b, uh, we found the v. So at would be, so we, we, we're gonna draw v now. 
Oh, we already have B. We're going to draw DT. DT. So DT is uh, at 0, 0, let's say 10, uh, is going to be 80. This is your DT. They look same, but this one increases faster because this is cubic. DT is 1 over 12 T cube. This one increases faster. So then AT, if VT is quadratic, AT would be linear. So this is AT. So we're going to use the same procedure. So this is 1 half T. Then we're going to do Zerk. And that is just half. So this is meter per second. This is meter. This is meter per second square. This is meter per second cube. Okay. And this is half. Okay. Now this is all our graph. Understand this is using graph. At two seconds, this one travel only zero, sec zero meter. Why is that? Because it's back to origin. At two seconds, this one travel how much? Let's see. 1 over 12, 2 cube, which is 8. So 1 over 1 over 12, 2 cube. So 1 over 12, 8. So 4 goes to 2, 4 goes to 3. So 2 over 3, 2 over 3 meters. Okay, that's not what I asked you. I did not ask you to give me that much precise information. At 2 seconds, this one travels 0 meter. At 2 seconds, this one travel. 2 over 3 meter. Um, that's not what I ask you. I ask you which one travel more distance at the more displacement at the end of 2 seconds. At the end of 2 seconds, this displacement is 0 and this displacement is 2 over 3. So this one travel more displacement at the end of 2 seconds. So the answer is, of course, uh, this uh, diagram B. The question number 2 is which object moves with non zero constant acceleration? This is constant, constant acceleration, but this is not non-zero. In fact, this is zero, uh, zero acceleration. So not this one. This one acceleration is not constant. Acceleration is linear. Okay, so none of them. Question number three is. Which one is back to origin at the end of uh, two seconds? That's like question number one. Okay, so question number one, the object is back to origin at the end of two seconds. Now, what is the real life application of this one? Let me uh, see. Uh, when we start force, we're going to be explaining this more. Newton's second law tells us F equal ma. So acceleration is F over m. So if you are a rocket, right? Right. If you have to, if you're a rocket, then you have to move at the y direction, right? All the velocity has to be, all the velocity has to be at the y direction. So 90 degree. So, uh, so the, all the velocity has to be Vx has to be zero and Vy has to be hundred percent. Another way of saying that Vx is V cosine theta. And v y is v sine theta, and in this case theta is ninety degrees, so x is going to be zero and y is going to be hundred percent. Now acceleration was going on with the rocket. F thrust minus F g minus F drag over m. As rocket go from zero meter, zero kilometer, let's say to hundred uh, thousand kilometer. And above thousand kilometer, from here to here there is a air drag. After here there is no air drag. So after there acceleration is F thrust minus F G over M. However, the M goes down. Why? The fuel that the rocket has when the T is equal to zero is enormous. It's like most of the weight come from the the, the fuel. As the rocket burning the fuel, M goes down. If M goes down, what happens? This goes up. 
if this goes up acceleration go up so acceleration increases for how long about 1000 kilometer after that the acceleration remain constant okay so that's an example of uh, uh, rocket launching we'll see more example in the class but that's your question one two and three you did not have to know all those things to answer this question but i wanted to give you some math understanding behind this because uh, the math is the language of physics